Hey guys, welcome back. It's Anthony Tata, your local Orlando realtor. And today we are in the heart of St. Cloud, right off of Deer Run. And we are in the community called Deer Run by KB Homes. Now this behind me is the model 2320. And if you don't know, 2320 is also the square footage of this home. Now this home is a three bedroom, 2.5 bathrooms, loft, den, two car garage. Now, depending on elevation, the base price of this house starting uh, starting at this time of video is $416,990 or $423,990 again based on elevation at the time of video. So this is a gorgeous home. If you can hit the subscribe and alert buttons down below, I can take you and see this home right now. Let's go. All right, guys. So let's start seeing this home. So guys, we have our two coach lights. We have this long driveway right here. I love the coastal look with the slats on the top and also the faux shutters, right? Here is our foyer system and we gotta go this way, <laughs> but let's go walk up to the home. Love the color of the door, see you inside. All right guys, so as we get into this gorgeous home, I want you to notice that we have gorgeous, dark, full wood LTV floors going throughout the first story of the home. But as soon as you come in through the hallway, we go to the left and we have a small bathroom here. I love the hexagon tiles, right? We do have nice, a nice little vanity here with a stone top. And we have tile about six, seven feet up in the tub set. I love the black and white contrast. I, that's, not, that's my kind of look. Gorgeous home. Now coming in to the left side, we get to a bedroom. Now this bedroom, Pam, what's the size of this bedroom? Nine by 10. Nine by 10 is the size of this bedroom. We have a window here for natural lighting, of course. The sill is made out of uh, counter, like quartz. So it's not like your typical wooden uh, sill, oh, which like is very nice. like a marble feel to it? Yeah, it, it's a marble feel to it. And it also is really good so it doesn't warp on you, right? Love that. So you see you can fit a full size bed and a nice stand here, but we also have our half step in closet on the side. Very nice. I think you need to explain all this blue tape. Oh yes, the blue tape is because this is a brand new community and they're still touching up the models. So you see blue tape hanging around. That's what Pam is referring to. All right guys, let's walk through. Now, um, going back to the blue tape, also when you're closing on your home, with any company, right? The blue tape is to let the, you them know what you don't like and blemishes in the house for them to fix it right before you're closing. So the model house is going through that process as well. Now, when you're outside here, we have our stairs going up. We're gonna show you that in a minute, but let's go see where Harvey Potter lives, right? Here he is. <laughs> in his little room over here, we have a Harvey Potter room under the stairs. He gets a light. Yeah, he gets a light. Look at that, all right? You can't get better than that. <laughs> But we walk through, then the home opens all the way up. So we have our eating areas over here and our living entertainment area over here. Pam, you have any sizes for us? The living room space here where mm -hmm. you're standing is 14 by 15. So 14 by 15 for the entertainment space, the family gathering room right here. This is a nice size TV for this size of room. We have a nice beautiful cadenza that fits easily, coffee tables, and we also have couches set up across here right? That are very, very nice. Look, I love that chair. That's my style kind of chair, right? You sit that, sit back, watch TV. But we have two windows here for natural lighting, did right? Did you call dibs on it? I called dibs <laughs> on it before you did, Pam. <laughs> so, and then we have flowing into your informal dining room right here. We have the dining room table, right? Which I like. You can have a nice long seat where seven, eight people can sit easily. Very nice. And then we have our outdoor patio. So let's go into that before we go into the kitchen area. All right, so we go out to our patio area and here is our covered lanai. Yes, I said it, a covered lanai, right? The two, the, you go through the two patio doors. 
We have a set here, which is really nice. But what I want to show you is exactly how large your backyard space is, right? Where these trees are is probably your property line, probably behind that, really nice. So as you can see, you can fit anything you would want by a third party contractor after you contract the home. So you can put a pool, fireplace, patio area. There is sufficient amount of spaces with these lots. All right, so let's go back in the home. And very quickly, we're gonna be to the left of the home, right? And it's our kitchen area. So our kitchen area, here we have a nice size island. Pam, did you take the measurements for the island? Yes, it's a four by four. Four by four. But what I like about this island, uh -huh. even though it's smaller, okay. it doesn't have the sink, but you have this beautiful picture window okay. over your sink. I do like the uniqueness of the window. Um, I'm not gonna open it, but it slides this way and it's like rectangular shape. So it gives you a lot more window real estate and lets a lot more light coming into this kitchen area, which yeah, is it nice. Has, it has a feel of a picture window. Yes, it does. And again, guys, we have the gooseneck here. I love that the double sink is here, right in front of the window. So a lot of people request that because the view, very beautiful. Imagine having a pool back there and you're just washing your dishes, watching your water and all that. It's really nice. <laughs> love the granite top. Here is your dishwasher, of course. More cabinetry with the white and black contrast. Very nice. I love that. We have a black tile today on this kitchen with 42-inch cabinets. Here is your range hood, electric top, and oven set here. More drawers, more cabinetry here, and surface top. Now, here's your refrigerator cubby. Fridge does not come with the, with the home with this builder. Not as of yet. Sometimes that changes. You're just gonna have to call me so I can let you know if you're interested. But we do have a cubby on top of the uh, refrigerator and a very, I have to be honest, shameful coffee station. I know, it's so sad. <laughs> I mean, uh, maybe you get a skinnier even, even Keurig. The, yeah, the, even the, the artwork just about fits in yeah. there. Sorry, but yeah. that's our opinion. Yep, yep, just our opinion, guys. Here is your pantry space, though. All right, and then guys, we're gonna start, go ahead, Pam. I just say one other thing. So if this counter from here to that wall is nine feet. Nine feet. And then from that wall to that wall is also nine feet. So almost 18 feet of linear counter space, which is nice, excluding of course your oven and your sink. But that's pretty nice. You can put things around, right? And you're right, without a sink here, this could be a big serving. Or if you're a baker and you like to roll dough. Yeah, it's, to me, it's very useful. Yeah, yeah, very nice. All right, so this is your first floor area. Wait, we're missing something, Pam, behind garage. you. This is to our two-car garage, right? There is a light somewhere in here. It's all the way over here. Mm -hmm. all right. Yes, electric There we so. go. <laughs> Technical difficulties today, but we're getting it. This is your two car garage, which is, you know, fairly typical, nice size, your water uh, heater over there. But we're gonna start heading up the stairs so I can show you the top area of this home. This is Hatter interrupting your program to let you know what is in the vicinity of the area. We have a Publix four minutes away, Disney Springs, 21 minutes away, Melbourne Beach, 38 minutes away and the Lake Dona area 25 minutes away. Hatter, your home assistant, technical robot. All right guys, so here we are on the second story of this home. And first we have to show you this side, right? Cause this side, right aside, well, real quick, the stairs that we came up, look at that picture window. It shows natural light coming up to the stairways. Very nice, right? Also, if you come this way, we walk into the loft area, which I like. It's a very cozy loft area. Two windows for natural light coming into the home, right? And then the size of this loft, Pam? Is 13 by 14. 13 by 14. You can entertain up here. It's not too far from your primary bedroom suite where you can walk and watch TV. You don't have to go all the way downstairs. Love this area for the home, very nice. But as Pam circles this way 
and I, I go. Show, I have to show them the big TV. Oh, with well, the big TV. There the you go. <laughs> okay. I almost forgot. That's a good size TV for this uh, space, though. Okay. And I like the little seating area here. Of course, you have the big L couch here and your coffee tables. But the main thing me and Pam were talking about that we wanted to mention to you guys is right now the builder has a pony wall here. What will modernize this area and open up the light from this area, especially from that big picture window, is if you did railing here, most builders give you the option to do that. So if you take away the pony wall, put some railing here, it would just open up the space immensely. It just looks so much bigger. Yeah, it allows the picture window light to come through yeah. here. Yeah. And, and just brighten it up even more. Yeah, I would love that. That, that, that would actually be an upgrade worth doing. So as we follow along this way, here is your primary. We're going to get to that in a second, but I want to show you the bedrooms coming down this hallway, starting with a closet that Pam is going to show you. All right, there's a nice little linen closet. And then we have your utility closet here. Nice and stepped up, right? Then we have a bathroom here in this section of the home. It has your nice little vanity set. Now we have a darker stone on that, van that vanity set. I like the little sit down. Then you have your tub area in the back. Now it's not tile, but you can always rip that out and put tile or upgrade with the builder if needed to. Love the tile that they used on the floors here for the wet areas as well. Very nice. As you come forward, directly to the left coming out of the bathroom is your laundry room space. Which is five by seven. Five by seven. That's a good size. No, it's very good because you yeah. can put a whole table here. Yeah. We just and, filled with opinions today. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Um, here we go. Here is the first bedroom coming in. Pam's going to stroll right into there. We have a window for natural light, right? Full size bed, cadenza, seating area with plant, and your nice stands, and you even have enough space for a desk. What is the size of this bedroom? 13 by 11. 13 by 11. And as Pam is turning, you have your half step in closet right there. Now, guys, I'm meeting you out here in the hallway to show you adjacent to that bedroom is another bedroom. Oh, and my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. We got Star Wars. We got a dark Vader mask, and oh, anybody who's let's watching, see, let's see. Oh, wait, get a close up of you in the oh. mask. Anybody who knows knows dark dark Vader is the man. Okay, <laughs> but we have a full size bed, cadenza. We have a window for natural lighting, a seating area. We have beautiful decorations. I think. <laughs> I must agree. And what is the size of this bedroom? This one is twelve by twelve. Twelve by twelve. I'm going to step in front because we have a walk in closet included with this 12 by 12 bedroom nice and just showing you guys this is the jedi who lives here <laughs> all right guys enough fooling around we're going to come back out into our hallway set again and we're going to go to the room that i promised i would show you which is our primary right in front of the stairs and the loft Look how big and expansive the space feels in this room. King size bed, like the fan, very nice. Two windows for natural lighting, two oversized uh, nightstands right here, a cadenza across. I would get a bigger TV, but okay, okay, that's my speed. And we have a seating area here and a bench here. Now, what's the size? Oh, and you know, my wife makes these. It takes her about a day to make these. Exactly. That's pretty, it's pretty <laughs> awesome. And I like those throw uh, covers. It, and it's 16 by 14. 16 by 14 is the size of this space, which is a lot of space. Very nice. But we're not done yet, guys. If we go, and I like this because it's like hidden away around the corner. We come upon our walk-in closet. Which is 6 by 9. 6 by 9. Very nice. And then we come into our primary bedroom suite, bathroom suite, I'm sorry, not bedroom. We're not, we're not sleeping in here. We're doing other stuff in here. <laughs> if you need to, you can. Yeah, that's true. You have a, a commode that's open here, but then you have your dual vanity set here with that same beautiful quartz that they were showing downstairs. You have your cabinetry from the kitchen following you up here with the black handles with a nice contrast, large mirror, pendant lighting all the way across, 
very beautiful, enough for a hamper space as the builder is showing you here. And then your shower set with the black controls and shower head there, very nice. As we move to the left of the shower, we have a large linen closet, not only for towels, but storage. So if you got big bars of soap, that's where they will go. <laughs> and then we have our window with a beautiful bench, which is a great idea, but natural light coming into this bathroom area. It's a large bathroom. Love that. Now guys, give me two seconds. I have a couple tidbits of information for you, but stay with me and hear that info. All right, guys, did you love this home? Does it fit you and your family's needs? Well, then give me a call, 407-790-0929, Anthony Tejada, your local Orlando realtor, and I'll see you guys on the next video.